Hello again, Ohio. This is Matt. Week four or video four of our what you can do to hold your elected officials to higher standards. This week, let's start with a question. You ever walk up to your umpire or your referee at a ball game and say, hey, before the game starts, I gotta know, you a liberal or a conservative? I'm guessing you don't, right? You're hoping that your official is impartial. And there's our magic word for the week, impartial. Let's hold our elected officials to higher standards. We're about three, three and a half months away from the next big election in Ohio, the midterms, where we have a senator uh, that's up for vote, right? We have two current uh, national party members. They're hoping for your vote. Obviously, one's a Democrat, one's a Republican. And to me, obviously, it's the same old, same old. Whichever one gets voted for, they're just going to spend all of their time and energy attacking the other party, blaming the other party. That's the game we play back and forth for the last hundred years. Here's another fun question or a fun quest for you. Google what George Washington said about national political parties. He had some interesting things. You've heard of George Washington, right? Many of the founding fathers were not fond of political parties. And there's many reasons for it. And yet, why are we here in this rut? I guess it's kind of laziness, correct? And it's time to break that chain. Uh, Ohio, you don't ask your doctor. You don't ask your dentist. You know, right before that root canal, you don't say, hey, are you on the left or the right? They're going to do something to your left or your right that you don't want, right? We need impartiality in our politics the same way we have it in our daily lives. You don't ask your firemen, your doctor, your policeman, you don't ask them if they're Republican or Democrat, left or right, liberal, conservative. We don't ask these questions and we don't want to and we don't need it. Why the people that are representing us would that matter? It's time for Ohio to have some independence. We need somebody independently that will represent the people and just the people in a quality way and not waste their time, energy, and money and all of our, our time, energy, and money on these political parties that just do squabbling back and forth, okay? Isn't it time for something fresh and new? You keep doing the same old thing, you'll keep getting the same old results. And I don't think any of us wants that again. Isn't this going to be the year where we prove it's time for something a little bit different? What do you think? I've got more thoughts on this, Ohio, and I know you've got more too. So let's meet up again next week, and we'll chat again. All right?